So match number eight in the 2018 World Cup, it's Croatia versus Nigeria. So Croatia will start like this, Kalinic in goal, Lovren, Vršačil, Štučnic, Bida, Modric, Perisic, Palasic, Ratacic, Ribicic, Kalinic with Supersic on the bench. As for Nigeria, they will start like this, Zenawa, Amorero, Palagon, Abudali, Echejeli, Iwobi, Ndidi, Moses, obi Mikel, Musa and Inchinaccio. And Nigeria will get us underway. This match will take place in the real world on the 16th of June at the Kalingrad Stadium in the city of Kalingrad. And Nigeria opening up with a pretty fast paced attack and could have put themselves in front already. The Super Eagles in their traditional green. Um, one of the powerhouses of African football and they take an early lead, 30 seconds gone, Croatia licking their wounds and who's on the score sheet oh, so far for the Super Eagles, uh, this is a massive goal for this group, it's a massive game as well when you think of the grand scheme of things, if you've been following the tournament as well, Inicciaccio, the less, again I'm butchering names, I do apologize, but Inicciaccio, that's what I'm going to call him, Inicciaccio, Gets on the score sheet, the former Manchester City and current Leicester striker opens up the scoring for Nigeria at the Russia World Cup. And uh, yeah, it's massive. Obviously, this group features these two sides, Croatia and Nigeria, as well as Argentina and Iceland. And if you've been following, um, Iceland and Argentina resulted in a draw. So a window of opportunity for, for both of these sides as Argentina slip up. But it's very early days. And... What a fantastic effort that was. That deserved the goal. And here we go with a retro style free kick or corner kick from Nigeria's float in there. And we'll get on the end of this. No. Here comes Croatia. Bodies and numbers. Push forward. Come on. Get it up there. Float it in there. Come on, man. Pranced around, but they lose it. Here come Nigeria. Trying to get a second, which will really put, uh, uh, make it a hard job for Croatia to get back in. It's floated in there. Headed backwards, though. Cleaned up. Turns and shoots. Come on, have a go. Have a go. No, it's cleaned up. Here come Croatia now in their red jerseys. Um, Croatia, one of the sides I've had to add to the database of this retro classic, which was on uh, FIFA, which was on the Mega Drive, if you're in the UK, and obviously a Genesis, if you're stateside. Turns and shoot. Come on, have a go. Float around in there, but it's actually cleaned up now by Croatia. And they can build from midfield. Pushed out wide. That's a nice play, but eventually Nigeria break it up and go again with themselves. Obviously, they have the all-important goal. We do play two four-minute halves, and we're halfway through the first half. And Nigeria off the post, I believe. And Croatia really need to get themselves in this game. And they could do here with a bit of bit of luck and that ball is horrendous Nigeria oh my goodness they're looking good so far get in there have a shot keeper goes down to the ground and keeps uh, Croatia in this tie so these two sides have never met in the real world so it will be a, a first and first opportunity for those two sides to play each other when the World Cup comes around, if you're a fan of Nigeria or Croatia, let me know that you're watching by giving a thumbs up as we go through each and every World Cup game on Nigeria. Going to upset the odds and make it through to the knockout stages and beyond. Uh, Ghana have been, uh, uh, they were impressive back in 2010. I think they made it to the quarterfinals. Nigeria... You know, been ever present in the World Cup for a few years. This year, we will not see Ghana or Cameroon. In fact, the other African nations include Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I think that's it. So you'd expect, I'd expect out of all those, either Morocco, no, and Nigeria or Egypt to uh, to progress the second round. And that is a good effort there as we crawl towards the four-minute mark. Nigeria definitely on top here. Croatia being very toothless despite having the quality in midfield of the likes of Perisic, Ratacic uh, in this game. It's kept in play though, down the line. 
floats it in there. They could get themselves right back in this with one goal. It's only that's the only thing that separates the two sides is one goal. You can dominate all you like. I I know this firsthand. Uh, if you're a Blackburn Rovers fan and you're watching this, you might recall the game against Newcastle season a season ago, season or something ago when it was all Newcastle, and uh, and eventually we managed to force a draw. Or did we win it? We won it with a Charlie Morgan free kick. Bonkers. Anyway, second half gets underway. Croatia will get the get the get the match started. Can they get themselves back in it? If you hear any dogs barking in the background, it is Luna. She is cheering on Nigeria today. Big fan of uh, football is Luna. Also, big fan is Cast the Catch. She's also predicted each and every World Cup game. You'll find them on my channel as well. So if you haven't checked them out, be sure to do so. And while you're at it, might as well hit the subscribe button. Keep bang up to date with all things uh, World Cup related. Uh, big, big. Obviously, this is a Blackburn Rovers related channel, but I do do a lot of videos related to international football. And because it's a World Cup year, there's going to be plenty of it, including these simulations and cast predicts and many, many more. So make sure you you check that out. Hit the subscribe button. Also, feel free to comment. Uh, I'm not sure if these lineups are 100% correct. It's just what I feel that would uh, would go to Russia for both Nigeria and that is just put over the top. No musting around there by Nigeria. And here's an opportunity for Croatia from the corner. It's floated in there, headed down. Great save by the keeper. Keeps Croatia out. Nigeria still on top. Yeah, let me know your thoughts of who you think will qualify from this group. And also let me know how you think your team, your country will do with the World Cup. As Nigeria look for a second, and that's a good effort. Keep a full stretch and saves it. Croatia still in this, despite being one goal down. Here come the Super Eagles once again. Definitely the dominant side. I think if there's going to be a second goal in this, it will come from Nigeria at this moment. Could that be the commentator's curse? As Croatia try to build something, it's, it's broken up. Nigeria try to build again. That'll be a throw for Nigeria. They could take it easy a little bit. Put on the brakes. Yep, this game is one of my favourite retro titles. Uh, I remember when it came out way back in 1994. The greatest football year ever. That's when Blackburn Rovers won the Premier League. Um, obviously, times have changed, and we are now in the doldrums of English football. But we're hoping to change that, and at least get get ourselves a little closer back to where we should be. Um, but that's a story for another day, and here come uh, Nigeria. As they build from midfield, come on, play it forward. Sets up somebody. We don't know who they are. There's no indicators of who they are. Everybody looks as the same. That's one attribute or one area of the uh, of the hack I couldn't really, really do without breaking it. Um, so, even if David Beckham played for Nigeria, he would look like Inigiaccio. So, another corner for Croatia. They are running out of time to try and get an equaliser. Last minute of the game. It's headed down. Deal with it. Great save. When you expect from that range... Uh, you'd expect them to score, but this game is tricky. I think I think if you shoot from distance, you got a better chance of getting it between the sticks. Uh, we are less than a minute to go, and Croatia are running out of time. It looks like Nigeria are going to go away with the three points unless things change, and that is a good effort from distance. Keepers worked, but it's saved. 30 seconds, or just over 30 seconds to go. Nigeria now maybe they can get a second but that pass was horrific and now Croatia trying to build something and they do have uh, they've been the better side of the last minute or so but that right there is what separates the two sides 1-0 in the Chiaccio strike it's a throw in for Nigeria the time does tick away it's headed onwards but Croatia can get it back slipped in there the defense of Nigeria doing the business and now maybe just maybe there's one more Effort on target in this match. Who's it going to go to? It looks like it's going to be Nigeria. Turns and shoots. Come on, son. And that effort is saved by Croatia. That should be a lot. Depends on what the referee thinks. Goalkeeper's thinking about it. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's got a nice, slick, comb-over hairstyle, I think. Always wearing a beret. 
And that's your lot, folks. One nil winners, Nigeria. Just to recap the statistics, look at that. Seven shots for Nigeria compared to five to Croatia. So they weren't that bad, but Nigeria had the one statistic that matters, and that's that one goal. As for the goal scorers, Iniciaccio will open up the scoring very early, within 30 seconds, or just over 30 seconds. As for yellows, there was no yellows. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.